I'm busy mapping. Well, I used to like enjoy following my instincts, but I've noticed that since Wi-Fi, my sense of direction has gone kaput. Totally kaput. More big ivy. Well, I found out who owns this, or looks after it, and it's uh, a, a, an organization, so I'm going to get in touch with them and ask them if they mind if I do it, because, you know, people just sneak around and do stuff, yeah, when actually, if you just go to the landowners and say, look, um, I want to do whatever, do you mind if I go and have a look at the barrow that's on your land? They'll very often go, yeah, just keep to the edge of the field and, and use the crop lines. But if you go there and do it without asking them, they come out, oi, <laughs> Reasonable, yeah, reasonable. So we're heading down into this bit. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. This is actually a lovely old wood. Beautiful, full of portals. If you want to do that. See, if I was doing portals, oh, can you feel that? Yeah, if I was going to do portals, or some of the ones that I would would do, I wouldn't be filming. I wouldn't have a massive pack on my back. I say massive. <laughs> to, to me, that's massive. That's weighing me down. It's making me hot. It's uh, making me having to think about where I go. Ooh, look, light. So yeah, I need a spot for coffee. I have to say, of all the places that I go, I know this is managed and I'm not going to get into everything is sculpted by man. You know, even this is a even this is a crop. Yep. Everything's used rather than shared, if you see what I mean. It's used for profit and gain. It wasn't, it was, well, I suppose it was, if you, but. You know, did the village have their woods and, you know, they'd use the poles from the woods or... I mean, how did it work back then? See another bank. Or ditch. A ditch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought, hello, why are they put a camera in there? <laughs> why, why are they filming people walking along there? Well, obviously they weren't, were they? Uh, see, those kind of ways are not the ones that I like. I'm drawn to these ways. It's 
long as the wolf doesn't get me because I'm on my way to grandma's house with these cakes I can see why. Oh, look. Can you see it? Glinting in the light there. Wow. Oh. No. Somebody's wee rag. Yeah, so this Wi-Fi, as it's built up and got more and more, you know, they, there's like loads of things have been appeared in places where they shouldn't be, like, you know, flocks of animals, herds of animals, groups of animals. You know, and they say that bees don't know where they're going these days and, you know, all things like that. And I think it's Wi-Fi, because my sense of direction to give you an example, to give you an example, at Stonehenge in 1982, Stonehenge Festival that is, we were out somewhere watching bands wandering around. <laughs> the middle of the night, and of course, you know, there's no lights, it's just black. And there was a group of us, and I remember they were going, Oh, right, where, where's the camp? And I said, Oh, it's this way. And I led them through like other camps round here, down there, you know, round and directly to our camp, directly, without, without a falter. You know, obviously, I didn't go through people's camps or through their tents or whatever, and we. We got back to our camp, and they were, they were like, wow, how, did you, how the hell did you do that? Because I could just see in the dark, I knew where I was going, you know? And I'd had one or two cakes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was one of my weaknesses. Get to, uh, get to a festival, have a cake, and then, well, <laughs> bye bye uh, reality. This looks like quite worn. Mm, this could be a channel, it's a bit soft. I was just having an investigation <laughs> of that channel. Well, because it goes here, and you can see how it goes over the other side as well. So, I don't know. But, and I could, you know, I could still do that. I could go somewhere once and know my way. But there have been places where I've been and I kind of almost magnetized myself into going there, going the wrong way, and then the next time making the same mistake because I was second guessing myself and then third guessing myself. I'm going to have to stop for coffee because I'm... Wow. This really is lovely. I will have to come here. In October. When it's proper autumn. Right, so what can I sit on? Oh, there's another gate up there. Okay, right, there's my plan. I'm gonna go check this gate out. Oh, there's another path there. Oh, please, oh, too many paths.
while I remember, sometimes I may pan too quickly. Um, well, not necessarily too quickly, but I pan before my camera's adjusted to a different light. So if that happens, I'm sorry about that. I can't tell just through looking at the screen because it looks fantastic on the screen. A nice bit of willow in there among, among the rest. Huh. It's a gate to nowhere. There's a massive fence above it going nowhere. Okay. Right, so I'm going to go back then. Back where I was. Well, I know this curves round. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, hang on, that's going right, right down there. Right, okay. Whoa, look at it. Beautiful. Yeah, the right light. It's fantastic. Yeah, so I'm having to work a lot harder to know where I am in order to not be so far away when I reach a point where I think I've got to leave now. But on the other hand, I kind of like that. I just wish I didn't get exhausted doing it. Right, onwards. This is a quite a serpentine route. Route. <laughs> well, this is quite a nice older bit. I don't know what to. See, I say old, most of this is old, uh, but I don't know, it's less, uh, it's less managed, that's what I mean. See, look, this hasn't been coppiced as, as well as the other ones, the other areas that I've looked into. And that you'll see yeah, if not soon, at the end of this, or <laughs> depending on, because I film a lot, you know, and I can't do videos of two hours long a week, you know, I can't do it, so I, I have to join, I have to make them separate. Huh. 
I've come around in a circle, haven't I? <laughs> I have, I recognise this bit. Did I go left? I didn't go left, I went right. Yeah, I went down there. And then we've ended up coming down there. There wasn't a path off, was there? No. Okay. <laughs> Right, um, okay, no, I'm not going to, right, no, okay, that'll be in my memory bank somewhere. But I can't be 100% sure about that. Ah, yes I can. Okay. Well, I know now. But that's fine, because I must confess to um, feeling a bit lost. Because this is one of those woods where you can take a path. And because I like to just go, ooh, what's down here? And follow it. And you can end up quite a way away into areas that uh, you've never been. I come over here because I saw something that looked interesting and like it was covered in fungus, but from a distance it did, but it's not, is it? See, I thought all this has uh, Fungus. Oh, see, wander into there, and then suddenly, yeah, you you don't know where you are. No, can you see the path? No. Um, I think it's here, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> because it, no matter. Oh, well, there's a few portals there. I'm, I'm really not. I'm not. I've learnt my lesson in this place. <laughs> there are a number, but, you know, it's quite easy to just go and go and go and then suddenly you don't know where you are. And actually, it's quite freaky. And um, it's sometimes worse when when you thought you knew where you were. <laughs> and then you realise, whoa, I don't remember this. Where am I? Where am I? And the one where I got lost in the mist, well, it's so easy, you know. I did it once with a friend of mine in, uh, in Wales. We went to stay, we went to see a stone circle. And uh, we got we got there, we started walking up this track and then suddenly the mist descended and we could just see, what, six feet in front of us. That's all we could see. So we had to give up and head back. <laughs> oh, that was an adventure. Often, because I don't know what I'm gonna find, I don't, I'm not able to plan that well. Like, cause today, I mean, you know, maybe in the winter I'll do it. Cause it may be safer. You know, just follow some animal tracks and see where they go. Hi birds. I'm not good on bird noises. I don't recognise that one.
Now this looks like it was probably a ride. Because look, there's a bank there. And a bank on the other side. And this in the middle. But it does give a home for the moss. Obviously, if the water's going past. <laughs> uh, look at this. I thought if you were below water, I don't understand. <laughs> Obviously, it's held in the mud, but ooh, look at that. on a hawthorn there. Look at him. And his stubby knob. Mossy stems of moss. The poetry writes itself. It is a proper old ride, this. I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but you really can feel the past. Okay, so I've come back in a circle. <laughs> Another circle, haven't I? Did I go down? <sighs> what? <laughs> well, I remember being there and coming and having a look down there and thinking, no, I don't want to go there. And then I didn't go down here. <laughs> now there wasn't a turn off down there was there so I'm head what hang on didn't I come up here I went down there and I had coffee 
Now for some reason I've just come back in a circle. See the fairies are messing with me again. I've said this before, that it's quite hard to get a balance between what people want. <laughs> you know, there's some, sometimes I'm chatty and other times I just film. Because my plan was to do one video where I'm talking and then another video where there's no talking at all. But it's almost like, well, who, you know, so that's why I did the Woodland Temple channel. But that doesn't seem to have as many people watching or subscribing as here. So I kind of, I'm doing it here uh, and also because for a number of other reasons. It's a lot easier to just have one channel so I can do I can do chatty videos and I can do videos with no no chatting at all and that way I keep you all happy I know sometimes I speak at the wrong times and I apologize for that Now while getting some shots of that, I was disturbed by a dog barking and then a lady came by and she said, oh, what are you doing? And I said, I'm just getting some shots of that, what you've just looked at. And she kind of went, mm. like she couldn't understand why I'd want to get some shots of it. She, she was older than me by you know, a few years. but. It's almost like, why are you in the woods then if you're not appreciating what you're seeing? <laughs> I am baffled. Obviously, there's, you know what I mean. There, yeah, my first mushrooms. Bracket fungus on an old log. Now what you won't gather from, from the film is it suddenly smells like autumn. It wasn't earlier, it wasn't until just now, and I've been here two hours, it's probably about half past ten. And it's now suddenly smelling like autumn when it wasn't before. Almost like the sun was out heating the land up. And now it's gone back in and then the smells come up. <laughs> that's, that's my explanation. Now 
Now, does that look like a velociraptor there? Striding across the path. <laughs> oh well, we'll go under it and hope he doesn't see. And the light is really interesting today. So yeah, about the um, yeah the getting lost or going around in circles. I think I figured out what it is. It's that there are a lot of triangle pathways in this wood. So it's not set out like a grid. It's <laughs> it, it's a triangle. So it's easy to go left and go left again. And I say triangle. They weave, weaving triangles. Yeah, channel coming through that they do actually have water running in them sometimes of the year and through there and down to there There's a ghostly face. Looks like a friendly one though. And as a result, it's quite easy to loop round, you know. Because <laughs> it happens, doesn't it? To put in a better, more understandable English, <laughs> it probably, um, when, when you're turning round in a curve, it's quite hard to be mindful of how, how, much, how far round you're going in a curve, you know, how much of the circle you're traversing. That's what I say anyway.
what's really nice is that I've just found out that there are bits of this wood, quite, quite a lot of this wood actually, that I've never been to. So that uh, bodes well for future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on. And I'll see you next time. Tell her.